the Currency Reform Fair Trade Act, H.R. 2378. It is bipartisan legislation introduced by Representative Tim Ryan and myself, and we have more than 120 co-sponsors. We need to pass this bill immediately and make the playing field level for American hmm? manufacturers. But the problems with China and currency manipulation are part of a larger problem. For decades, China has spied on us, shipped weapons to our enemies in the Mideast, stolen our patents, counterfeited American products. China sends us products that are harmful to our families and even to our pets. Their products have increased the risk to be poisoned, strangled, choked, crashed, bruised, burned, cut, or sickened. China has shipped us toxic toys, deadly baby cribs, lunch boxes with poison paint, fungus contaminated pet food, drywall with sulfur, reused chopsticks, unhealthy baby bottles, carcinogenic pacifiers, and Chinese makers of defective products have little or no product liability in the United States, which can save them 15 to 20 percent on product sales. Couple the tort tax with currency subsidy and China can undercut American-made goods by a cost of 40 percent or more. Now China says once again that it will allow the yuan to float. But that announcement comes too little too late. For only a day after the announcement, China announced it would limit the rate in which the yuan would rise. And this is a repeat of past history. It is no coincidence that China made this announcement ahead of this weekend's G20 summit, where world leaders were expected to pressure China on its currency. But America cannot keep relying on more empty promises from China, not when 15 million Americans are out of work. The American people are calling for Washington to create jobs. We need a long-term answer. And our solution is here in the Currency Reform Fair Trade Act. The time has come for all of us to stand up for American workers and not allow China to run roughshod over the American economy. We must pass this legislation. Our legislation clearly defines currency manipulation as an export subsidy and allows American workers and industries to seek remedies under current trade laws. This legislation will ensure that unfair and illegal practices in foreign markets are not tolerated and we will hold China accountable once and for all. I ask all of our colleagues to work together to pass the Ryan Bill, the Currency Manipulation Bill, and stand up in unison and say, we welcome fair trade, we welcome free trade, but we will not tolerate manipulated trade. And with that, I turn it over to my friend and my colleague, Tim Ryan. See, we, got, we, right got the, we got the people with us on it. Let me thank Congressman Murphy. Um, we've been uh, trying to do...